Well, something smelled like shit in my town today. And uh, it just happens that the turd's in town. Explains it all. You got the mouth of the south, the man without any plans, and the masters of all disasters coming to you. Let's flip it around. So the turds get a nice Windsor welcome. Are you coming to Ottawa next month? Or are you going to Winnipeg? It don't matter where you go. We'll go to Hamilton. I'm going to Ottawa. It's a little closer. <laughs> got the anonymous mask. I love it. So like I said, the turd's in town and uh, he's getting a, a Windsor welcome. Should be 10,000 people out here on the streets. But I'm hearing on the other side of the gate, just in case he tries it goes out that way, on the other side of Chrysler's, there's people over there too. So there's... If people have a legitimate reason to be pissed off at Trudeau, look what he's done. And there's a lot of Chrysler workers in there that can't stand uh, Trudeau also. So other news today, a guy was caught uh, on Bernard and Guy Street with Shotguns and a rocket launcher. When all else fails, I guess. Who needs a rocket launcher? And I'm on my way to work myself. Hey, look at this flag. That's a nice flag. Hey, sir, are you going to Ottawa? Oh yeah, you're coming with me, aren't you? Let's go. <laughs> or I'm going with you. That's why you're going with me. We're going to split. Let's... Take care of yourself. Hey, you got... Appreciate your service. Hey, you took my... You, you and your wife took my wife to Mexico, so I'm going to take you to Ottawa. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So the fight continues for everyone. Shift change. So it is what it is. You got rising costs of living, where it's becoming unaffordable to even live in this country anymore. You got the WEF that's making it really unaffordable. You got Trudeau's plans. Right. How was work today? It was good. It was good? <laughs> Lost my job for five months, but we got back in. What are they talking in there? Uh, did you hear what the turd had to say? No. <laughs> did it stink in here today? A little a little heavier than usual, eh? <laughs> the turd -o. So the cost of living for a lot of people, now he wants to implement these electric cars and... Uh, the cost of doing business with an electric car to mine all the cobalt, uranium, all the crap that they need for these electric vehicles is absurd. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Are you coming to Ottawa? Are you going to Ottawa? No, Ottawa. Winnipeg? Anywhere? Just in Windsor? Just Windsor. Okay, no, that's good. Stand where you are, stand your ground where you are. Who, Tom? Yeah. yeah I know. 
when we were at the university. He's like, where's Mouth of the South? Where's Mouth of the <laughs> South, baby? Mouth of the South's right here. He says he's probably working one of those 90 hour weeks. I do, I do. And it's come to that in this country where I do work 70 hours a week. That's, That's the way to make it. Well, you have to, right? It's either that or Rob Banks, and I'm not going that route. It never ends well. <laughs> 10 years later. Right, so you know, if I got to stay ahead of the, the game by working 70 hours, I don't know how much deeper I could get, but it is what it is, right? And there's a lot of people in this building right here that are paying heavy tax like me. When I'm paying 1200 a week in, in payroll deductions, I'm not alone. This place is filled with people just like me. So don't take it laying down like a sheep. Get up and fight. Stand for what you got. Don't do it violently. Do it democratically. And that's by voting them out. Plain and simple. I'm 100% against violence when it comes to politics. It, it's like oil and water. It don't, it don't mix well and it never ends well. So I'm not on that point where it's time to get violent and burn it all down and start all over. I know a lot of people out there feel that way. I get it. But vote them out democratically. That's the way the system is. Shove his money ground electric vehicles. They want it because no one can afford them. Never, never happened in my day. Well, you know what? I'm not for the electric vehicle myself. I drive a diesel truck. And even at $2.20 or 10 cents a liter for diesel, I'm still complaining. But my diesel truck use burns a lot less than petroleum, than gas. Nice flag, Tom. Well, look at the time of day it is. Look at the time of day it is, too, right? I'm on my way to work. But there's there's more people on the other side over there on uh, Walker Road, too, eh? Oh, yeah. He can't... Right. And he's going to slide out that way. He can slide out any way he wants here. Oh, that's where he's going? Oh, I'm sure he's been to the Paul Martin house there on uh, right across from. Uh... So, Will, so you guys got his dinner plans too. It's 6 o'clock p.m. at Willstead? Wow. Oh. It's going to be an. It's, it's going to be an $8,000 $8, dinner for Justin Trudeau today. Free meals. <laughs> Free meals at Willstead, 6 p.m. Tom's buying. <laughs> this guy's buying. So, so you got the mouth of the South, the man without any fucking plans, and the master of all disasters coming to you live from Stellantis, Chrysler's, Dahmer. It's been called many things. But that's a Chrysler sign right there. So I'm going to call it Chrysler's. We want our country back. Well, you know what? Stand up. I do know a little thing that there is another uh, protest going on on the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th, I think it is, of February. I'll be in Ottawa around the 17th. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to carpool. We're going to cut down on the costs.
and that's the way it's going to be. So Trudeau's giving a speech inside. I don't work here. I'd be inside covering it for you. But there are people that work here that are covering it from inside. And I can't wait to watch it. I have a meeting to go to right now. But come on down. Hey, it's free for the takings. Stand with these guys. So come on down and stand with these people, man. You guys are all talking about freedom. The brigade, the brigade is starting right now. So I'll be going to work. I'll see you guys down there. So Will Stead, a lot of people are headed to. I'm headed to work. I got no choice in the matter. See you, Thomas. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Uh, I got uh, pork chops and mushroom gravy with uh, egg noodles. That's what I got for work. Are you going to Ottawa? No. We're from Vancouver. Oh, even better. Well, in Vancouver, okay, uh, there's a guy who's holding a slow roll from uh, Delta to Abbotsford. His name is Earl. Uh, I forget his last name. Uh, really nice guy. He's got a great plan. And if I was in that area, I'd be I'd be getting involved. Oh yeah, yeah. So they're they're roll, slow rolling from uh, north or south Delta to Abbotsford, sixty kilometers. To Surrey when they close the border, one eighty five. Right. It's about a, usually about an hour and ten minutes drive. We were four and a half hours in the Wow. And it was it was. Well, we were up in Ottawa last year, and then here at the bridge, right? Yeah. Across this country, right? And my wife and her friend were in the truck with me, and they were like, we should turn Yeah, let's just go. That's awesome. That's what brings you to Windsor from Vancouver. Are you from here? Originally from here, yeah. Oh, did you? Where, where are you living in Vancouver? Oh, oh, nice. I know. Chilliwack, Mission, Abbotsford. Yeah, all that area. Agassiz, my favorite place. Agassiz, cross, cross the Chilliwack Bridge or the Agassiz Bridge, you're in Harrison Hot Springs. Right? Great golf courses, yes. Yeah. Well, that Harrison Harrison Bay is supposedly one of the deepest uh, deepest clean uh, uh, freshwater lakes in the world. It is, yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know you could go swimming right now in the lake in, in the lake right now and go. Oh, it's a cold, but yeah. in the summertime you could go to Lynn Valley, even in North Vancouver, jump in the creek bed and it's it's freezing, right? So your beer your beer ice is up. That's awesome. Well, nice meeting you, sir. You have fun in Florida and make your way home safe. Oh yes. So, Willstead Manor is where everybody's going. With all that being said, guys, share the message. Keep the good fight alive. It's far from over.